Seriously, you've been on the Dave Ramsey plan for over a year and you don't know when you're going to be debt free? What is wrong with you? Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click the big red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon and you will be alerted every time I upload because we're having some fun on this channel and it's freaking awesome awesome. So I get this question a lot and I am finally, finally, finally going to address it. Why do we not have a projected debt-free date? I'll tell you. I didn't want to think about it. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Part of the reason is that based on the amount of money we are putting towards debt right now, we will not be out of debt until February 2021. And that stresses me out to no end. I cannot imagine being in this process for four more years. I can't. I just can't. Another thing is that number is 100% based on me working my job that I have now and Mauricio working at Uber or whatever. So now Mauricio is starting a new job and we don't know what his payments are gonna be. We have an estimate based on what we think it should be, but we don't know. Um, we're going to be getting dental insurance through his company. We don't know how much they'll take off for that. What I wanted to do today is run a few little numbers by you. In September, Melina will start going to public school. Currently, we are paying $1,500 a month for her schooling expenses, and we will not have to pay that anymore. We will be paying before and after care, and we expect that to be about $500 a month. So I want to show you what happens when you make changes to your debt snowball, because that is exactly what's going to happen in September. Right now, with the budget set, our very base budget with Mauricio Ubering, whatever, uh, the amount we pay to debt every month is $4,811. That's the, the minimum number we aim for every month. So now, starting in September, we will get, automatically we'll get $1,000 extra that we will be able to put towards debt. Automatically, if nothing changes. So, how does that affect our debt snowball? Well, initially we were going to be debt free in February of 2021. And with that additional thousand dollars, that will change us to June 2020. Okay. So that's an additional thousand dollars. In addition to that $1,000 for Melly's school, we will have another $50 for oil changes, $70 for easy passes, $300 in gas, and $75 for a car wash that we probably won't have to have every month. Now the oil changes for our cars will happen every once in a while, but you know we'll know a couple of months in advance. They're not gonna happen every month because these were things that we were doing for Mauricio's car every month because he was driving Uber or Amazon Flex. So let's say that's another 475, but we're gonna, make it easy math. So another 400. So let's change that amount to 6,211. 6,211. And that changes our debt payoff date from June 2020 to March 2020. Now, this has not taken into account at all, not even a little bit, Mauricio just got a new job. So, and like I said, we don't know how much he will be bringing in. Here are some other things this will take into account. Currently, I take out $200 every paycheck to pay additional taxes for Mauricio. I'm not doing that anymore. So we will get another $400 back in my paycheck. So let's go ahead and add that in. Now again, March, 2020, so another $400 would take us to $6,611. So let's say with this new paycheck that Mauricio is earning that he brings in $1,000 a month extra. That would change our total amount that we put towards debt 
to $7,611. And remember, our debt payoff date with all the other things was January 2020. And now our debt payoff is August 2019. That is much more reasonable, except for one thing. This is important to know. As soon as Mauricio and I have our biggest debt paid off, we are moving out. We've already discussed it. We would like to stay in the same neighborhood and we have determined the amount of money that we need to have free every month to be able to live in this neighborhood, pay utilities, pay for food, pay for everything. And we have determined that we can do that once we pay off our largest debt. And we have, I think, 56000 58, somewhere in there, left on our largest loan. And as soon as that is paid off, out the door, assuming there's a house for us to rent in this neighborhood, because we will be renting, not buying. So what I am telling you is right now, everything is so up in the air, we just don't want to project a debt-free date. The good news for you is that I am committing to sticking around, so you don't have to worry about us going anywhere. If you are looking for a channel to follow through the debt-free process, we are definitely a channel you can do that with, because we will, we're in it for the long haul. We're gonna be debt free, even if it kills us. Cause it might. Wait, this video, this video, I never know. This video, this video, that one, that one is my, ooh, jiggly. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. That video is my latest video and that one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.